Hi everyone, this is Marco from bn-games.com and we're here doing kind of a special request video for the Wii U Wi-Fi error fix. Uh, this is basically a video that will cover the the fix that will fix multiple of the uh, the Wi-Fi errors which can manifest in multiple different error codes and uh, let's start out with the Windows method. Uh, start off you're gonna need to have a Windows computer connected to the network and the first thing you want to do is open up a uh, command prompt by typing CMD as you see here, that'll open this up. Uh, next thing you want to do is go ahead and type in ipconfig forward slash all and then press enter. Now what that's going to do is that's going to bring up a whole bunch of your uh, IP information. What you want to do is find something along the lines of this that you're seeing here which is your Ethernet adapter local area connection and then you want to just go ahead and make a note of the IPv4 address, the subnet mask and the default gateway. And just write this down somewhere because you're going to need it shortly. Um, if you're on a Mac just go ahead and stay tuned through this uh, process and we'll just go ahead and get to that. So on the Mac you want to go ahead and click on the Apple and uh, Let's just show you here that we are running 10.7.5 on this one, and this will work on most newer Mac OS X systems. So go ahead and go to System Preference, uh, System Preferences, and next thing we're going to go to is over to the Network tab. Under there, same thing, we're going to write down the IP address, the subnet mask, and in this case, the router is actually your default gateway. It's just kind of a different way that it's uh, set up here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over to the Wii U gamepad and show you how it's uh, set up from there. So the first thing you want to do, assuming you're at the home menu, is go to your system settings. Um, you can already have, uh, basically be here already, but I'm just going to do it from the home menu so that I show you the cleanest way possible. I also went ahead and deleted any previous connections I had before. It just makes it a lot easier if you start out fresh. That way you know exactly where you're connecting and you don't have to worry about messing with previous connections or any of that kind of deal. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to uh, connect to the internet. And that's going to do a search for any of the Wi-Fi networks in your area. So we're going to go ahead and connect to the bn-games.com, which is the one here in the bn-games.com studio. And we're going to go ahead and uh, click on that. Now what it's going to ask you for is a security key. And obviously I'm going to go ahead and speed this forward so you don't see ours because you guys want to steal our Wi-Fi. I know you. Uh, what will happen now is... Uh, the Wii U will try and connect, and in our particular case, the issue is that we're using a wrong type of encryption according to the system. It's something that's not supported, although it's something that almost every other device in the modern age uh, supports. So as you see here, it, that causes a network issue, and you basically aren't able to connect to the network device. So in order to fix it, that's uh, where this video comes in. You see the error code here we get is 103-1001. You can also get 103-10020304, it continues like I said. Um, this is basically going to cover most of those issues. So the next thing we want to do is once that's been tested, we want to go ahead and go to change settings. And in our case, it kept the SSID. If it doesn't do it for yours, go ahead and type that in. Also make sure that whatever security setting is the correct one. If you don't know it by default, it should do it, but if it doesn't, go ahead and change it. So I'm going to go ahead and change it here anyways. It's going to ask you for your security key one more time. Just go ahead and uh, type that in one more time. Once we've got that good, let's go ahead to the next page. And on IP address, we're going to turn it off from auto-obtain to don't auto-obtain. This is going to force us to uh, use that information that we had earlier that you grabbed off of either your Windows or Mac machine and you're going to go ahead and type that in. So in our particular case, ours was as follows. And once you have this typed in, just go ahead and double verify, make sure everything is correct. It's uh, better to just take your time and make sure everything's correct the first time around. Next it's going to ask you if you want to obtain uh, your DNS settings and you definitely want to do that. And you want to do the same thing, tell it not to auto obtain. Now at this point what you're going to do is you're going to type in the uh, primary DNS of 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 
and the secondary DNS of 8.8.4.4. What that is is Google's primary DNS. Now you can use anything you'd like, but in my uh, uh, and Bobby's test, uh, this is actually the best one to use. Why? It's going to get you the best results for the Wii. So at this point, go ahead and hit confirm and just double verify everything once again. Let's go to the last page and we're going to... We don't have proxy settings. If you do, go ahead and use them in this case. Uh, and the last thing we're going to change is the MTU value, which is default 1400. We're going to change that over to 1500. At this point, I would recommend you go back to each of these tabs and make sure that everything is set up correctly. I went ahead and double and triple checked it at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And then it's going to ask me if I want to go ahead and run the connection test again. In this case, I will definitely do that. At this point, the Wii U will run the initial connection test again using these new settings. And you can see we have a successful connection here. We are now actually connecting to the network device, which is then going to connect over to the internet. At this point, if this is your first time connecting to the internet, the system will automatically tell you that there is an update. Please make sure you do this and do keep in mind that this update is quite large. It clocks in at over 5 gigabytes and can take quite a few hours. Um, also note that if you cut your connection during this time, it is very likely and there have been reports that the system can brick, so just be very careful and mindful of that. Hopefully this took care of any issues that you uh, encountered. Please let us know, and if you do have other issues, feel free to contact Nintendo. They're, they've been very helpful about this so far. Uh, please leave us a message and uh, let us know what you think.